Hello world, I'm the games industry's Brian Baglow. You may know me from such games as Trout Hunter 3, Evening Rise, Summoner's Trumpet and of course Grand Theft Auto. I'm here today to talk to you about Dare to be Digital. Dare is the UK's premier game design competition run here at the University of Aberdeen in Dundee. It's for students who love games, who love playing games and who want to design and develop their very own video game. And it's not just console games for the Xbox or PlayStation or even the PC. We're talking about mobile games, online games, social games, all the crazy new stuff that's coming out. The stuff that you want to play. It's wide open. Now not only can you take part in the competition, but you also have a chance of winning a brand new BAFTA award. Um, ones to Watch. It's a brand new category created specifically for their competitors. Two previous teams of students have now walked away with one of these awards and most of the contestants have gone on to be hired by some of the world's leading video games companies. Some teams have even gone back to university, I know, the crazy fools, but they've finished their courses and walked away with valuable contacts, some really good phone numbers and some industry experience that you just cannot buy. I mean, it's that important. It's the difference between getting a job in the games industry and going to work in a bank. And who wants to do that? Now I'm up for a BAFTA nomination for the BAFTA Once to Watch Award, which is really exciting. DARE was a wonderful experience. I got to meet lots of interesting people and people from the industry and made a game that I wanted to make. We got approached by companies afterwards for interviews. Um, it really helped us get to the top of the CD part. Um, get noticed. Get noticed. Get a name out there. Now, if that's not enough, here's what you also get during the Dare to be Digital competition. Each and every single person on the team gets a stipend of 1,700 quid. Your team gets a budget of 200 pounds. You get help and advice from industry experts, mentors and professionals. That's me. You get free accommodation. You get a shot at three prizes. Innovation and creativity, the best use of technology, market potential and of course, that lovely, shiny and all-important BAFTA. DARE is important to us because we feel it prepares the students for uh, what it's like actually working in the real world, working on a real project. Um, if they understand why deadlines are important, what it takes to actually make a game and show it off to people and not have it break, that's a huge bonus for us. Uh, and if, you know, if someone's got DARE on their CV when they apply to us, straight to the top of the pile. Applying to DARE is pretty straightforward. First of all, you need a team. A team is a mix of five students from university or art school. However, you don't all have to be from the same university or art school. Very useful if you've got friends elsewhere. Secondly, you're going to need a concept. This is your idea for a game, something you haven't seen before. The game that you want to develop. You submit your idea through the Dare to be Digital website, www.daretobedigital.com. There's an online application form. You submit your concept there and we get it. So let's get the ball rolling. Applications open in February and close at the end of March, so you have a couple of months to think things through. The teams are going to be picked in April. Those teams will then go through to an interview where industry professionals will judge the best ideas and the best teams. The results will be announced in May. The successful teams are actually going to be based here at the University of Aberdeen in Dundee. From June the 7th through to August the 11th, you have the development period. Right? This is nine and a half weeks of intense and uh, highly enjoyable teamwork, during which you have to get your prototypes up to spec and get them working. After this, the really scary bit, showing it off to the public. In Edinburgh, in the middle of August, thousands, and I mean thousands of people, are going to come to the Dare Pro to Play event. They're going to come, they're going to play your game. How awesome is that? That's not the sort of thing that you can just go out and try every other day. So Dare played a massive part in helping me get a job in the games industry. It gave me the experience I needed to sort of put myself ahead of other applicants just out of university. And it was awesome fun to make my own game. If you want to see some of the games that have been done before, or if you need any more information, visit us online. The Dare to be Digital website, daretobedigital.com, will answer any questions that you may have. Or you can email the Dare team directly, inquiries at daretobedigital.com. It couldn't be any simpler. So come on, 2010, what have you got to lose? Get involved.